Hi, Dr. Chanel, and in this short video, I'm gonna show you how to use a foam roller to help improve medial epicondylitis, which is on this side of the elbow, and you can use it for lateral epicondylitis, which is on this, this side of the elbow. So I'll just show you medial epicondylitis. Maybe a little hard to see, but I'll try my best to make it where you can view it. You actually are going to get on your hands and knees kind of like this. You're now going to drop the weight of your forearm and you have to have body weight pushing into this or, or your arm's just not heavy enough to create the friction needed in the tendons and the ligaments that are involved with this syndrome. So I'm trying to hit this bone right in here. I'm trying to hit just below it or you could go just above it and you can go across it, that's fine, with this foam roller. So I'm actually going to have my palm flat and now I'm going to begin rolling this direction. If it is flared up and the ligaments and tendons need that massage work, which is in effect what this is doing, it's doing your own massage work at home with the foam roller, then you will feel it. Now you can angle more if you need to. And now I'm letting the weight of my torso sort of drive into there. You can also, and I do this at home and it's a little bit silly, but it works well, you can also even drop your own head on here just to kind of control the roll, if you will. And it's actually pretty comfortable because sometimes you get tired of this position. So here I am doing my left arm, medial epicondyle. I'll drop my head into it to kind of control the roll and it really stabilizes you. Now I'm going to go above, and I'll do it with this arm so you can see it, and I'll keep my head out of the way. I'm going to go above the epicondyle. So here I am. I'm going, I'm on the bone. And now I'm above the epicondyle. And now I just pick a small spot where I feel that, and it, for lack of a better term, it really feels almost sometimes, if this is really flared up, it'll almost feel like it's tearing. It'll have that kind of intensity to it. Obviously, if you suspect a tear, you don't want to be doing this, and if it makes it worse or the pain is too intense, then you need to stop and get it checked out further. I'll do the other side, except for I'll, on this one, I'll do my lateral epicondyle. So here I am, that's going to be this spot right here. And so I'm going to be here, and now I'm on that lateral epicondyle. Same thing, I'm gonna drop my head onto it. This is something I just figured out one day and it works so well. I'm gonna drop my head onto it to control the roll a little bit. And there I am, I'm above the bone now. And it's really quite effective, much more effective than you think it would be. Um, so, you know, 20, 30 seconds, up to a minute maybe in each spot. Simple foam roller, doesn't have anything fancy. This one's warped, it's not even round anymore. So this will work fine, it just needs to create that friction and you just put as much pressure as you're comfortable. Again, if it gets worse, uh, if you suspect a tear, you need to rule all that out before you're doing something like this. But I'll tell you, it really works quite well. I recommend it to a lot of people.